is rap the news and i noticed the most wickedest people on this earth are called christians and they are the biggest sinners on this earth and these christians they live in fear they don't want to hear any truth they want to hear some easy little lie all you got to do is say my name say my name and and you get into the kingdom and it don't work that way it hasn't worked that way for anybody in the revelations prior so we have Yeshua King you know it's something wrong with that name already 31 minutes ago highlighted comment I noticed that YouTube always highlight the, the biggest idiots and t to me the, the devil does all of this crap he says Nibiru which he spelled Nibiru is a Sitchin lie from his sci-fi books and notice he has a lion with his right eye blind that means he can't see good. The left eye is seen. Right? And so we know that this is the damn devil. And so, um, uh, Nibiru, which I call Planet Hell, which God calls a fire that's kindled in his anger, that's burning to the lowest heaven, which is hell. You know. It's all the same thing. The red dragon, uh, Wormwood, every last one of them is the same damn thing. The story just told over and over again by different prophets. Okay, let's get into it. Deuteronomy 32, 22. For a fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell. So now we have a fire. You think it's just flames coming down? Did he say flames? No, he said a fire. That means something is burning. Right? It's going to burn unto the lowest hell. What is the lowest hell? Earth. What is it going to do? It shall consume the earth with our increase. It's going to burn up this whole earth. So now this fire has to be tremendously big. And set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Cause the volcanoes to erupt. Something big that's fiery that's going to cause the volcanoes to erupt and, and, and burn the whole earth. A big huge planet planet hell keep going and and this is why I call it planet hell Psalms 112 10 the wicked shall see it so they gonna see planet hell and we're gonna do dreams so we can get this thing you know everybody can get a good uh, perspective of Nibiru or planet hell or Wormwood or whatever the fuck you want to call it planet X same damn thing and be grieved he shall gnash it with his teeth and melt away okay so whatever they sin is gonna do what melt they asses the desire of the wicked shall perish all of this lies of Jesus Christ coming to save is gonna go away right then and there watch this so you ain't gonna never hear nothing about Jesus saves I'm going to read the Old and the New Testament. You're never, when it, every time you get fiery and serious, like I said, Jesus disappears. Watch. But in this one, they're going to be calling on Jesus. And then they ain't going to receive no help. And so it's a lesson learned in this video right here. 2 Peter 3.10 But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise you think that thing is coming quietly and is that big no and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are there shall be burned up all of them are matching from the old testament to the new testament precept upon precept saying what something big is coming down and it's burning it's going to burn all the way down to the lava on this earth which is the lower hell you ain't gonna escape it Christians you're gonna be the main ones in that for your lie and your blasphemy Revelation 8 10 the third angel has something to do with planet hell the third angel sounded his trumpet and a great star blazing like a torch fell from the sky why because God sent it in his anger to burn to the lowest hell. When they see it, 
they going to perish. Right? And it, it's going to come and it's going to what? Burn up this whole damn earth. A great star. What do you mean great? It's tremendously huge. We're going to match this up with the dreams and everything else today. So stay tuned, man. Don't, don't turn away from this one. Blazing like a torch fell from the sky by itself without God's permission. No, we know God sent it. In his anger, right? That's why it's blazing. When he's sending fire down on your ass. He ain't happy. So what do they call in Nibiru? A, a brown dwarf star. Okay, we missed it again. The angel sounded his trumpet and a great star on fire is coming down. Let's go back up to the top. A fire is coming down. A great fire. A great fire is coming down. And everybody going to be burned up. You feeling it. They calling it global warming. They know exactly what it is. And I'm the only one that was preaching it. If you're preaching it now. You heard me. You know. And not only preaching it. I was showing it. I got all kind of video footage of that damn thing here and there. You know. Two suns in the sky. That's the other sun. Revelations. 16.4 And the third angel again poured out his vial upon the rivers and the fountains of the waters and they became blood. So Ezekiel 38.22 says what? He will plead with them with pestilence and blood. Right? Before he send the hailstones down. Let's keep going. Revelation 16.21 And there fell upon men a great hell out of heaven. So this planet has a hot side and a cold side. What is hell? Big old giant snowballs, huh? Of ice coming down, right? Hard ass damn ice. Frozen. Where's brimstone? Fiery stones. So fiery stones and hell is coming from this planet. And I described it as there's Alaska and then there's the Valley of Death, the hottest place in California right death valley and so we got a hot side and a cold side right so does this planet there fell upon men great hell out of heaven every stone about the weight of a talent I think they say what is that six pounds or something I don't know and men blaspheme God wait a minute cause this is important You got the atheists. They're gonna when hell start coming down, they're gonna be like, I'm blaspheming God. What is blaspheming? I'm gonna lie about God. It ain't the atheists. Who is it? It's Christians. How are they gonna blaspheme God? They gonna say, Lord Jesus, save us. And they lying because there's only one Lord and that is God. He said it over and over and over again. He said every day they blaspheme in his name. Saying Lord Jesus. There is only one God and one Lord and that is the most high God of Israel. And he said call him Ekod in the end right. Which is one. One Lord. They blaspheme God's name because what? Of the plagues of, of, of the hell. For the plagues there was exceedingly great. Watch. They so dumbfounded in that Christianity. That they doing what in the end times? Calling on Jesus to save them. And then the book says. Only he who calls on the Lord will be saved. But watch this. He didn't say when you call on the Lord. You're supposed to be calling on the Lord way before that time. Let's keep going. Revelation 14.9. The same third angel three times. And the third angel follows them saying with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast. Which is Christ crucified. Which is that image of that white motherfucker that they painted and said was Jesus. And his image. And receive a mark in his forehead or his hand. He going to do what? Send all their asses to hell. 
So watch this. This is coming down. The third angel then threw it down. And he said, anybody who received, who, who worshiped the beast in his image and received the mark in his forehead or his hand is going to be thrown in the lake of fire. The lake of fire is coming. Hell is beneath us right now. There's another hell coming. That's on fire. Y'all get it now, all right? The great star, the planet, the dwarf sun. Yeah, we have to need to be done with the heat, motherfucker. Can you feel it? The great red dragon is ain't nothing but the great star. And it's something to do with the devil as well. And that's why they call him the great red dragon. Because how he screwed up everybody on the earth and made them sin causes this planet to come down in God's anger. That's how that planet works. It ain't following no orbit. It's coming down in wrath. That's his orbit. The wrath of your ass. It came down during the times of Noah and destroyed. And it came down in Sodom and Gomorrah and destroyed. Behold a great red dragon and his tail which is two hundred two oh, they said two million mile long of meteorites and hailstones and asteroids all up in that motherfucker, man. It's coming down. Right. His tail through a third part of the stars, all these asteroids and meteorites, and of heaven and did cast them to earth. So we're going to be getting hit with meteorites. And what it said, Revelation 16, And there fell upon men great hell out of heaven, and every stone. So you got hot fiery stones and cold as hell. Same planet. Ezekiel 38, 22. And I will reign upon him and upon his militaries, and that's the Gentiles, and upon the many people that are with him, an overflowing rain great hailstones, fire and brimstone so this fiery planet that's coming is going to be throwing down hailstones and brimstones and fire it's going to be raining it down and so how does science explain it it says the planet is going to pick up speed it's going to swing up under the earth and the earth is going to run into its debris tail and, and, and get uh, pounded by meteorites, asteroids, and hailstones. It all match. The dreams, it all match. Right? Because in the dreams, what? The big red planet is coming down, right? So they're looking up, and it's right above our heads. So pretty soon, I'm talking about pretty damn soon, we're going to look up, because people are already seeing the big red blotch in the sky, everywhere you know pretty soon it's going to come into full view hell is going to be viewed by all and that's the hell above and so revelation 6a say and and i looked and behold a pale horse what is that sickness red iron oxide coming from this pl planet causes sickness sepsis and you will die that's the pale death and his name that sat on him was death. And hell followed with him. We own hell. So death gonna ride out on a black horse and the earth gonna follow? Nah, this is another hell, motherfucker. For all them motherfuckers that be trying to undermine what I'm saying. Because they knowledge is limited. They come here and they get some damn knowledge. And then they go put it in a dumb perspective. Because they can't put it in a logical perspective because their knowledge is limited. They have to put it and dumb it down where they can understand it. But I'm used to talking to dummies. And I am. And so I can put it in layman terms for you. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not trying to make it scientific and all that bullshit. I'm just putting it where you can understand it by the scriptures. Am I saying anything? No. Is it hocus pocus and spooky shit? No. Revelation 20:14 and death and hell. Death and hell is doing what? So we're on top of hell. It's cast into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is on that motherfucker. So supposedly when that motherfucker swoop underneath us, 
uh, it's going to suck this planet down into that one. So both hells is going to merge. Everyone who was taking the Lord and looking for the signs noticed this, brothers and sisters, and it was a big red planet hovering above the Earth, and the moon was also out this night, and it looked like it was a quarter moon, like half of the moon was lit, but the other half was dark. But we were not paying attention to the moon. We were more amazed by this red planet coming towards us and looking bigger and bigger as it got I see closer. a huge planet, and we're talking humongous, like it's covering the entire sky and it's pretty much on us it's not even coming towards us it's on us and um, it's uh, massive um, I could feel the heat emanating from it I could see the ribbons of fire that are jumping off of this planet it's massive it's volcanic and the flames are bright red with fire dancing in a rib in a ribbon like pattern and uh, I could feel the heat I could feel my skin blistering um, and as it came closer I felt like all of the earth structures whether there were trees or houses it felt like they were being pulled towards this planet and we felt the electromagnetic rate uh, electromagnetic uh, pull uh, being pulled from our bodies and uh, and so this was happening and out of the corner of my eye to the right again I saw fireballs fall and just torch the earth just burn down buildings and animals and cars and whatever was in its way it was just falling and uh, scared out of my mind uh, and but this was the most important part of the dream and that was the fact that I felt like I was being pulled towards this planet I was just being pulled through the galaxy and as I was going through the galaxy you know I, it was like the, s the speed was, was, was increasing and I, everything was rushing by stars, planets, asteroids um, and as I got closer and closer, the surface of this planet started to become more clearer. Uh, you know, and it was like it was it was like on fire, red, red hot, rusty looking planet. Um, it wasn't like the sun as you know tremendous heat, but it was like you can tell like it, it had the surface and it was like lava and uh, filling this whole planet, but with a lot of dark surfaces. And as I got closer and closer. Then I could see that all around the crust of this planet were huge, like volcano, volcano mountains that were kind of, kind of poking out of the crust. Uh, and on top of these volcanic mountains, it looked, appeared to look like, like black figures, uh, it like, like dark ash, but like smeared, like a sketch. But it was like of this person, figures of men or women and they had their arms like waving up like this and stretching out towards the sky and I was like okay I know where I'm going this is hell there's no way this is you know some random planet that is scary or some nightmare dream of I'm having it this is hell. I was standing looking up at the night sky and the planet that I was looking at was so big that it almost covered the whole sky in my view so I was able to look at it up close and when I was looking at it, even though it looked red overall, it had a lot of gray. It kind of reminded me of the moon, where you see an up-close picture of the moon with all the craters. It was the same, but all these craters were filled with fire of the brightest reds I've seen. Very bright fluorescent reds. The whole planet was colored with these pockets of fire. And it was very close to Earth. I was looking uh, out of a window and I saw what looked like a large planet with a smaller planet to the, to the left of it. Then all of a sudden, I could see it moving clearly uh, towards the Earth, and it was getting clearer and clearer. And I could see um, the debris fly by, uh, and it was flying by and hitting people, 
but I was holding the hands of two people and I said, don't worry, uh, God will protect us. It was just huge. And um, it was the color of like when you stoke a fire and how the embers get uh, their blackish orange. This is the color. It was like orange red, but it was like smoking hot fire. Um, but anyhow, I just found, you know, that's the first time that I had seen the planet like that. And I know that it's the, the red planet that the Lord has been giving me. Um, and he jogged my memory today, I believe with, you know, the, the heat on my shoulder uh, in my earthquake dream that happened around Knoxville which I still haven't done that video on yet, but I will. Um, I was in shorts in that dream, uh, in the earthquake, because the liquid came over my legs when we were all done. Um, when this thing, I watched it pass over, and it was, it didn't fly by, but it was pretty quick. Um, but it, it gave me a good look at it. But after that, I looked, I was still looking up in the sky, and it was like the clouds kind of parted a little bit and I put my arms up and it didn't really look like I had a far way to go and I know I got there quickly but I, I don't I didn't feel like I was flying it was just like I was here one minute and then I was up there the next just beginning to go in and I could vaguely make out silhouettes of people what do all these dreams have in common? That the planet is coming down. Look how God is warning all these Gentiles. The planet is coming down, right? And you can look directly above you and see the thing coming down. What else? Meteorites is shooting from it. Fire is coming from the planet. Every last person saying, this damn thing is on fire. Just like Raptor News been telling you for a very long time now. Only person speaking about planet hell because everybody else don't know why because the spirit ain't helping them they ain't being enlightened or guided by nothing spirit is helping me over here and so what do they do they all teach the same bullshit you know what I teach salvation you know and God's kingdom coming this is God's kingdom coming it's a part of it and this is the part called hell and then what else do they got in common that as this thing drops down they're melting and frying, just like the scripture said. What else? It sucks them up. Three people in each dream said this thing sucked them up into it. And when the guy said he got close to it, it was what? Fire and lava and people burning in and a lake of fire in there. When the woman at the end said what? This thing passed by. She raised her hands up. And she start being sucked up. Then she can see the silhouettes of people too. Just like the, the other guy said. And then Isaiah 28, 18 is telling you that. You know, it ain't like the scriptures didn't tell you. Is that most people don't have understanding. Most of them teachers and preachers and everybody, they don't have an understanding of the scriptures to tell you that. Because they too busy worried about sounding crazy. And then the other part is they too stupid to tell you because they ain't being helped by or guided by the spirit. Isaiah 28, 18. When the overwhelming scourge sweeps by, you will be beaten down by it. You know, beaten down by it. That means meteorites, hailstones, and fire is coming down off of this thing. As often as it passes through, it will carry you away. So these people said they, they, uh, it was pulling them to the planet. You know, it will sweep through morning after morning, picking up what? Gentiles. Day by day, sinners and by night. The sheer terror will come from understanding the message. Yeah. Understanding that hell is coming down and it is about to pick up all you sinners. And guess what? Where is Jesus Christ in all of this? He ain't never there, huh? If hell is picking you up and God is throwing down meteorites and everything else and he and lifting his people out, how does Jesus save? 
And all these people crying for Jesus in the end, what did it say? It said, you blaspheme of my name all the way at the end time. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. They all know who I am. They all know the message that I'm teaching. I have tried to pry them away from that false God so many times in that false religion. So many warnings to all of these people. They will not listen. And so when the fire, you don't believe that either. When the fire comes down on your asses, remember when you're crying like hell, pleading to a false god that ain't going to save you, blaspheming the holy name of God, remember your ass was warned. This is Raptor News.